What's up, everybody? Once again, my name is Matt, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. In the last episode, we explored new floors in the Temple of the Ocean King and found a new sea chart. Now in this episode, we're going to do a bit of side questing before we go off to that new section of sea. But don't worry, guys, I promise we'll get there before this episode is over. Now, um, you are probably wondering why I'm going through this cave, and well, to tell you guys the truth, I want to go and talk to Friedel again, because after you get the third sea chart, if you talk to Friedel, he will give us something from his magic boxes, even though we didn't actually use them. Also, along the way, remember how we went through that really long cave with, like, the bridge? Well, there is something in there that I totally forgot to pick up, so I figured we might as well grab that along the way, so we don't waste too much time. But, um, yeah, what you want to do is come to, like, the center of this bridge, grab your boomerang, and uh, if we look downwards, we should find this switch, and hitting that will cause a chest to appear. So, let's just go open this bad boy up and get ourselves a free courage gem, just like that. Hooray! Alright, now let's just get out of this gross, disgusting cave, and go and talk to my man Friedel. It's kind of cool that, like, he does give us something, even though we never made use of, like, the multiplayer features in this game. But what's going on, dude? How you doing? Little green man collected many treasures. By the way, while I was cleaning out my boxes, I found this. From the box to you, will your heart's dream come true? And he gives us a treasure map just like that for the new southeastern section of our map. So obviously, yeah, you can't get that until you have, like, the sea chart for that area. Kind of how this game works. Anyways, now that that is done, uh, let's make our way back to Linebeck. And no, dude, sorry, I don't really care about you right now. I'll talk to you later on. Maybe, probably not, though. Hey, we got mail. Special delivery. Watch out. Incoming. Alright, what's up, Mr. Mailman? What you got for me today? This is a letter from Linebeck. What? That's weird. Ahem. Here goes. From Linebeck to Link. Okay, this is weird. Why am I writing to you when we're together all the time? But just give me a moment to remember why I was writing you. Oh, so I'm writing because, well, I'm grateful, alright? Happy now? Thanks, okay? There, I've said it. Well, this is awkward. What's next? How about, thanks for working like a dog for me, you treasure dog... See, that's something you can't just say to a guy's face, you know? One more thing, a gift to show my thanks. Keep it to yourself, or else. And he gives us the red cannon. Thanks a lot, Linebag. Dude gives us a part for his own ship. Like, come on, man. And that's the end of it. Got all that, sir? Then I'm out of here. Alright, you know, he did give us a letter that we should deliver back to uh, Joanne, I believe. So we might do that. First things first, let's talk to Linebeck. Were you able to find the sea chart? Perfect, I'll bet somewhere among these islands are the pure metals we seek. Let's take to the waves, Link. Alright, let's do it. Then climb aboard, the open sea calls. Fantastic. So like I said, we're going to do a little bit of side questing before we go off to that new section of sea. And uh, we might as well start by delivering that letter. So we need to go back up to Bannon Island, I believe. So I guess I'll just meet you guys once we get up there. Alright, so I knew there was a golden frog around here, so I went looking for it, and I did manage to find it. So hopefully we can shoot this thing down and get the symbol for our cyclone slate. Come on, man. Oh, wow, I actually hit it while I was, like, under the water. Sweet. Oof, nice shot, buddy. The big frog spread the word about you. So want to know what to draw on the cyclone slate to fly right here? Here goes. Pay attention. Okay, here's the mark. Draw this to return here. Alright, so it's like a backwards N or something like that. So, we'll just draw that on our map. There we go. Hey, you'd better write it down somewhere. Did you get that, buddy? Indeed I did. Then I'm out of here. If you see my fellow frogs, give them my best. Rivet, will do. Alright, so I'll continue on to Bannon Island. And then I will see you guys once I arrive. Okay, so we finally made it to Bannon Island. Let's just go and talk to Joanne, give her that letter that the postman was too lazy to deliver himself, and then we'll get out of here. So, what's going on, Joanne? How you been? Oh, it's you. I found this old Wayfair all thanks to you. 
He's great, always raving about the romance of the sea and call of adventure. I'm going to pretend to be a mermaid for a bit and let him think I'm the real thing. Shh, it's our little secret. Alright, don't worry, I won't tell anyone, but let's talk to her again. Hey, what have you got there? Come on, you can show me. Show her the letter from Jolene? Of course we will! Oh. It's a letter from Jolene, my big sister. Aw, you came here just to deliver it to me. Thank you so much. I have to tear into it and read it right now. I love letters. Alright, you do that. Enjoy the letter. Teehee. Oh, Jolene, she never changes. She's still in the dressing up as a pirate. I'm glad she's happy with her hobby. Oh, but enough about my sister and her obsession with pirate costumes. I should give you something to thank you for delivering this to me. Here you go. And she gives us a wisdom gem, which I believe brings us up to 10 now. Sweet. Thank you so much. It's okay, really. I don't need it. Go on, it's yours. Oh, don't worry. I totally didn't plan on giving that back. All right, so now that we got that, we probably should make our way to Spirit Island. But you know what? I actually want to go to Molita Island first, and that's along the way. So I'll just meet you guys once we get there. Let's set sail again. All right, and here we are on Molita Island. All I want to do here is talk to this little girl. Word has it that the ghost ship hasn't been seen for a while. I wonder if some far-off hero has defeated it. What a hero he must be. Sigh, I can only imagine what a lazy bones you are compared to such a hero. Wow! Oh yeah, I picked this up earlier. And she gives us a treasure map. Sweet! You get around, don't you? Give this to my beloved hero, would you? And don't even think about keeping that for yourself. Well, guess what, kid? I am the hero. But screw you. We're leaving this island line back. I don't want to talk to any more of these locals. They are rude as heck. I will meet you guys once we get to Spirit Island. Alright, so here we are on Spirit Island. And since we do have 10 Wisdom Gems, we can level up the Spirit of Wisdom. And that's precisely what we're going to do. So... Let's just head up to the fountain and see what happens this time. The spring is filled with a mysterious light. Which spirit gems do you want to present? Wisdom, please. So far, you have found 10 wisdom gems. With this many gems, the spirit of wisdom's power will be awakened. Come forth, spirit of wisdom. Using the gems that Link has collected, you must now recall the true extent of your spirit power. And ta-da! It's more sparkly now! The spirit of wisdom has been powered up. Wisdom now protects you. Your shield's defense is much greater. Swap spirits from the collection screen. May the divine protection of the spirits be with you everywhere you venture. Alright, cool. So, now if we go into our collection screen and uh, switch over to the Spirit of Wisdom, uh, you'll notice that now our hearts have sort of like a blue and white uh, flashing outline to them. So now, uh, we sort of take less damage from everything, which is really, really nice. Um, I'll use it for now, but honestly, I kind of like the Spirit of Power a little bit more. Let's ship out back because there's nothing else that I want to do here right now. But, there is something nearby that I think we should check out since, I don't know, it's a good idea to do so. So, uh, you can't really see it because the back button was blocking it. But yeah, there's a traveler ship over here. So, we're going to go and stop at that ship and see what we can find on the inside. Now, this is a pretty interesting ship because the character we're going to find inside is very similar to one that we've already seen. So, let's just approach it and eventually it should give us the option to board. There we go. And let's see what we can find. Oh no, it seems like there's a guy in here surrounded by a bunch of enemies. So, yeah, what we need to do is take out all of these enemies. And I like how the music is like the normal shop music. Totally unfitting, by the way. But, uh, whatever. Let's just take out these Zora Warriors and, like, these weird-looking, uh, mini blends. And, uh, now we can hopefully talk to this guy. Play dead. Play dead. Uh, dude, it's safe. You can, you can get up now. 
Go away. Away from me. Dude, I, I killed all the bad guys. How annoying. Hey, what? Um, hello. There we go. Oh, what? The bad guys left long ago. Yeah. Nothing works better than playing dead when the bad guys are around. Say, I don't think we've met before. No, but we met your brother on the Prince of Red Lions. I'm part of the Maritime Defense Force. The name's Knave. Yep, yep, I patrol these waters in order to keep the peace. I'm a peacekeeper. It's nice to meet you. Oh, and here, this is for helping me out. And he gives us a Rudo crown. Hooray, thanks a lot, dude. Are you happy? You're happy, right? Hehehehe. <laughs> There isn't a person alive who isn't happy to get a present. Alright, thanks a lot, dude. So, the gimmick with this guy is that every actual day you can go and visit him, and he will be attacked by enemies, and you can save him, and he'll give you something new, because, believe it or not, this game does actually make use of, like, the clock feature on the 3DS or the DS, if you're playing on that, to sort of, um, tell time. So every actual 24 hours, uh, you can go and visit him and get something new. Anyways, we're pretty much done with all the side quests, so what do you say we make our way towards the eastern section of the sea? And, um, I gotta say, guys, I am kind of sorry uh, if I sound a little bit weird in this video. My voice is not all there today. I'm not really sure why that is. Um, I was recording a bunch of videos over the weekend, so I think it might be a little weak from that, or just, like, allergies in general, because... Uh, we had a really long winter up here in Connecticut, and it's just now getting to the point where it's like spring summerish weather. And of course, that brings along a lot of like allergens and stuff like that. So, uh, normally it doesn't affect my voice too much, but uh, recently I've noticed that uh, my voice has been getting weaker when, uh, you know, like the pollen count is super high and stuff like that. Anyways, as you just saw, we're gonna make our way towards Goron Island because we're looking for tribes, and well, the Goron people kind of are like a tribe, so that's a good place to start. Uh, you do want to watch out for these pirate ships, though, because this big one, it can actually board you, so hopefully it doesn't do that right now. Alright, good, it backed off. I mean, eventually we do actually want them to board us, but I'm kind of busy at the moment, so we'll come back for that a little bit later on. Um, be careful when going by those ships, though, because they can very easily sink your ship, because there's a lot of them, and we only have four hearts, so... Yeah, it's kind of dangerous. Anyways. Oh no, what's this? Wow. What in the world is this? That's what I want to know. Oh boy, a giant whirlwind. Where is this going to put us? Thankfully, it doesn't really put us anywhere different. Whoa, that was crazy. Who did that cyclone think it was anyways? The engine is soaked. We're stuck. Oh no. Uh, hang on. Does something feel odd to you? Um, arg! Look, kid! Oh my gosh, what is that thing? What is that disgusting thing? And at a time like this, this day couldn't get any worse. Okay, but we need to face up to it, Link. A monster like that? Who knows how to deal with it? Maybe... Oh! Fire! Fire, fire! And fire some more! Yeah, as long as you keep shooting, we just might survive this. Oh man, the machinery! You just aim and fire! Alright, so we got ourselves a second sea battle. This guy is really not too hard. Obviously, his weak spots are the, like, eyes on its side. So just shoot those and uh, try and watch out for its, like, weird energy balls. And holy crap, wow, I took a lot of damage from those. I kind of thought I was hitting them, but I guess not. Alright, but yeah, watch out for the yellow energy balls because obviously they will do a ton of damage. So make sure you shoot those and uh, eventually, yeah, they do give off hearts. So you can uh, restore some of your HP as long as you keep shooting those. And oh man, this is not looking too good. I kind of took way too much damage early on there. I'm not sure how I feel about this now. I really got to shoot like all these enemies and... Oh wow, really? Gave me all my health back. Well, thank you very much, game. I definitely appreciate that. And I think all those eyes are dead, so can you please turn around so I can hit, like, your other eyes, dude? There we go. Come on. Turn around again. I mean, there was there for a second. All right, how many more hits do you have? Like, maybe one or two, I think. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Done and done. That wasn't too bad. So long, scary monster thing. Good riddance. 
Wow, how do we do that? We sent it to the bottom of the sea, Link. Of course we did, and hey, the engine had a chance to dry out, so set our course, let's go. All right, and now it's automatically going to bring us to Goron Island. No input required, thank goodness. We survived another terror here at the sea, and now we have to land at the island where we might meet our first tribe. How exciting. And here it is, Goron Island. Looks a little bare from the map. Not too many markings, but I'm sure we'll figure out why later. Hey, look at the map. No houses. I wonder if there's any pure metal here. Ha! Huh, amateur. Places like this always have treasure stowed somewhere. Fine then, you supposedly have a nose for this, so we'll follow your instincts. Can't say if it's pure metal we'll find, but whatever, we scare up, it's all mine. I'm chewing on Oceus's, er, the Ocean King's offer, Link. He'll grant any wish that I whip up, but what would you wish for? I'm curious. Treasure, right? Or maybe you'd wish for three more wishes. Lineback. You don't understand Link at all, do you? He's doing this for Tetra, for the Ocean King, and to bring peace to the seas. Hmm, you're sort of a good guy, Link. Wow, that was out of character for me, wasn't it? Blech. Go then, get out of my sight and fetch some of that pure metal. Well, that was weird. Linebeck must have eaten something funny. Whatever, Link. Let's go look for that pure metal. All right, will do, but you know what? We're going to save that for the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.